Alright, what's up guys, it's Exotic here, and this is a tutorial on how to show you guys how to use Twixter properly in Sony Vegas. So, I already got my clip imported and my color correction on and everything, so it looks real nice right now, but I have not yet done the Twixter, because that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do. Here's the preview of the clip. So, I'm going to be doing two Twixter things in this video. The first one I want to do is right before the shot, because that always looks nice. I mean, when you're zooming in. First, you want to like kind of spread the clip out like this, and get right before you zoom in. Actually, go like a clip behind where you start to zoom in, about right here. Then you want to go into as soon as you get into the scope, then split the clip again. Okay, so now that you got that clip, it, I already have Twixter downloaded. There will be a link in the description if you don't. And this is pretty much all you have to do. Just drag the Twixter onto the clip. And hit the um, animate on the speed button. And see how when I go over here it shows where I'm at. Blah, blah, blah. So all you have to do really is change the speed. Uh, to whatever you want and then once you've done that like right here I'm just gonna go 15 and then add keyframe and then now if you see the clip to the right it's not even close to being zoomed in yet so what you have to do to fix that is you have to go into the clip then you have to click on it and press shift and drag out because when you do the twixter it only uh... it's going at fifteen speed like well that's what i just did it's going at fifteen speed so it only gave you fifteen percent of the clip so you need to drag it out until you get right when it zooms in which for me would be right about there. Oh, maybe a little longer. Okay, there we go. I got it. Now, it's really not going to show you this, so I'll just render out the clip and you'll be able to see it and enjoy the clip okay now I'm back and I just wanted to show you guys uh, my settings for Twixter because if you don't have the right settings it doesn't look right and like it's really it has a lot of distortion or whatever so my settings are the main thing you want to do is go down here and go to cut A. Then you want to drag that all the way down. And then you want to uh, go into Twixter Pro. And you want to change these settings. BG Motion Sensor to 70. Make sure it's cut A on this one. And if you guys need to, you can pause the video and copy down these settings. Make sure track quality is best. Twixter, I mean display is Twixter output. Display layer all. And that's pretty much all you need. So, uh, yeah. I used the Twixter really well in my last video, my OCE. So, if you guys want to go check that out, that would be really nice. And it's being uploaded to a couple of editing channels because it really is one of my best OCEs. And you're going to see an OCE with this clip soon. So this has been Exotic. Peace.